Okay, let's do question 20. The following are three amino acids. Which of the following represents dipeptides formed from these amino acids? So I, I hope you take note of this. So generally, when you form amino acids, right? Okay, generally when you form amino acids, you must realize that this is the R group. R group. So when you form amino acids, you always take away the OH. Okay, you have to take away the OH and the H on the OH from the COH and the H from the N. Okay, but take note, it always you always remove the water from the main, from the main uh what main chain. Okay, from the main chain, not from the R group. Okay, so you have to circle the R group to make sure you understand where are the R groups first. So for this molecule, you can see that this whole thing is your R group. All right. So for this one, in fact, uh, this, yeah, it's like that. But this is your R group, of course. And for this one, this is your R group. Okay, this is your R group. Okay. So if you're going to form an amino acid, you're going to use the NH2 and the COH from here, the NH2 and the COH from here. And the NH two and the COH from here. Okay, so which of the four? They say which of the following represents the dipeptide formed from these amino acids? So let's take a look very quickly. Okay, um, I'm just gonna draw a line here because this is the the two amino acids. So if you if you if you if you study this properly, uh, you'll notice that um, this is fine. This part came from the main chain. The COH came from the main chain because this is the R group, right? This is R group. Okay. So uh yeah, so the R group is over here for the other molecule, right? So this is the N N the original was NH2 from the main chain. So this is definitely correct. Okay, let's look at two. Uh if you if I break here, okay, you'll notice that this this one is hundred percent wrong already because over here this is my for amino acids, this is my R group. Okay, and I told you you must use the COH from the main chain. Okay, you can't take from the side chain. So the C this COO. This CO actually came from the side chain, right? So this is, uh, I'll, I'll cross this out. This is not possible. So let's look at three. I'm just going to draw a line here first, okay? And again, you realize that this part, right? This is actually from the R group, right? So this one amino acid, this another amino acid, but this amino acid, they use the R group here. So this is also wrong, okay? This is wrong, this is wrong, okay? Okay, let's look at the last one. Okay, last one, if, you, if I draw a line here, Okay, uh, you notice that um, which is okay because the R group is over here. This one, the R group is over here. You can see that? Okay, so they use the NH2 and the COH, uh, NH2 from the main chain. Um, for this one, the R group is over here. You can see that? The R group for the other amino acid, the R group is over here. All right, so they use the COH from the main chain. So this is correct. Okay, so the answer is 1 and 4 only. Yeah, 1 and 4 only.